And my video, uh, one of the videos that I did, I think I call it my first timers afraid using the machines. Uh, I'll put the link on the description box. I said that I will create a video showing you how to use the wool machine and compare it with the cable wool machine. They're pretty much the same. Um, so this video is just to show you the difference between the two machines to help your upper back muscles. Um, these two machines are like I said, they're the same, except that one helps stabilize your core and the other one doesn't. So at the end of this video, I will write a couple differences between the two. Um, so I'll be using this machine and then I'll go to that one to show you how the muscles are being used similarly, the same way. So these two machines are pretty much target your upper back muscle. Um, which are your rotator cuff muscles, your trap, your delt, and uh, your lat. I will uh, start with this particular angle showing you uh, how uh, the muscle is being um, targeted. So usually I fix the uh, weight, make sure everything is at the proper height, the weight is something I could manage, and uh, I adjust the pad to help stabilize my core, and I start rowing. And as you can see, these are all the muscles from the back, um, the rotator cuff, the trap, and luckily I wore this shirt so you could see it um, much better, um, pretty much uh, in display, so how the muscle is being used. So normally I like to bring the pad, the one that holds your abdominal, and I'm pushing it back as far as possible so I could reach for the, uh, the handle. I don't like to have my arm bent. So here is the cable row. I'm using close grip. And here we go. again, I'm, this is the same kind of motion. Except this time I don't have that help, you know, the pad against my abdominal to help stabilize my core. So I have to keep my, uh, my core as tight as possible as I do the rowing motion. And you could see um, all the muscles that uh, are being used to do the rowing. So you really have to try to pull with your back muscles. And as you get closer, and then you could pull your, uh, make your arm do the final uh, motion. So I'm going back to the old, um, to the previous one, the machine with the, that will help stabilize your core. Um, now I'm using a different angle. See, I adjusted the, the pad. See, my arm is uh, stretched and uh, I'm pulling as much as I can. Because you want the muscles to be stretched, uh, um, stretched and contract. So I like the handle to be as far as possible. And the pad, I don't know how you call it, that lean against your abdominal that helps stabilize your core. I pull it as far as I can so my arm could do the reaching motions. And now I'm done. I push it back. And I'm going to go back to the other one, showing you the side angle again to see the same kind of motion and movement that uh, the muscles are, are doing. Again, I stabilize myself. Once I stabilize it, I make sure I, my core is as tight as possible. The only thing that should be moving is your upper body, your upper back muscles that should be doing the motion. So you pull that with your, mus uh, your back muscle and you stretch it. Like I always said, it's good if you could even close your eyes as you do this, uh, pretty much almost all the exercises, um, to focus on the muscles uh, doing the work. It will be good. Because once your eyes are open, you tend to look around and uh, you uh, tend to uh, lose track, focus. So I hope you like this video and uh, you could read some of the comparisons between the two. And I hope this video helped. Um, please subscribe and uh, share some of the videos. Thank you.